Like what challenges do you face in your in your career? Um so I would self-identify as an introvert. There was a stage in my life when I thought I could be an ambivert, which is like supposed to be like this both sides thing. <laughs> but I think there's just moments when I feel um to in, like you know when you're inspired by a topic and like people will tell you oh like I thought you were quiet but like once you got talking about this thing like you're so excited about it and I'm like yeah that's just because like my shyness gets overridden by how interested I am but for the most part I really do struggle to speak to people when there's not like this springboard already you know like when someone brings up a point to you and then you have like this access to start talking but before that I really struggled talking to people out of the blue and so that did hinder me a lot when I tried to speak to other artists just to like to share to maybe see even other parts of their work like it would it isn't even anything to do with me it's just like this inability to talk sometimes and I think that's also why I'm so drawn to art because I struggle to express myself in other ways but um yeah, like that aspect. And I think also just like, even though, so when I was overseas, when I was in Belgium, I somehow, I don't even understand through like my introverted ways, how this happened. But I think it was because of um, when you're traveling, you uh, you open yourself to opportunities that you don't even consider as like an, op like an option when you're back home, because it feels like a completely different landscape. So when I was overseas, I messaged so a friend of mine said oh she met this artist like do I want her number and so I was like yeah of course and then I messaged her out of the blue not something I would do in my hometown and I asked like hey I'm an artist as well would you like to meet and she said like yeah are you going to be in Belgium and I said like I wasn't planning on it but I'll come through and she said oh you can stay with me and I ended up staying there for like a month and a half at her house a stranger like I've never met and through her like I ended up meeting um, a gallerist that's now a friend of mine and like always sends me shows that he's doing so I always have this outside like influence that's direct but even knowing like him and knowing his artists like I still have this disconnect because I ha I am very aware that I am a young artist and I didn't have like I don't have the tertiary education thing that does give you a platform to already start talking in a way so I find like I want. I felt like choosing Michaelis was maybe a um, what's the word like like a failure point. Like, oh no, I have to do this because I'm not going to be able to do it without Michaelis. But um, to a certain extent, it was also just like maybe I do need help on how to be an artist in a commercial sense. Like, not commercial. I hate the word, but like yeah, because it's it's sorry to interrupt you, but it's not a commercial. Yeah. It's not about being a commercial sense. It's a discourse, right? And it yeah. is a it it is an industry, and it is a industry way. Is word. Yeah, and it is it is like a group of people who are speaking to a certain uh, ethos, and they're speaking to a certain time, and they're doing it in a specific way. And you know, you deal with it. It, it in in the academy, it's a lot more conceptual, and to mm -hmm. to join those conceptual conversations, you need to learn it. But before we wrap up, um, I want to ask you, I want to come back to something you 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 brought up earlier, which was uh, you spoke about seeing and about seeing the world and working as, as a way of seeing. I had a young artist mm. um, say to me, like, um, as we were starting to get into about six to eight months of working together, she was illustrating and she said I suddenly when she started to deal with the figure ground relationship with like um the you know the image not sitting on the surface of the paper she started she said to me oh my god I just realized I actually can't see and I was like okay now we can actually start working and you just you launched straight into that mm. you were like you know art making you know it, it helps me to see can you elaborate a little bit on that um yeah okay so for me like when I'm working it's almost like um I'm not taking visual information in anymore it's like um like it's a different vernacular like when you see something with your eyes it takes snapshots so that you can remember it it's almost like a like a survival mechanism I feel like when you see naturally and then when you see to make work it's like a whole different level of like 
you're not looking at an image you're not looking at like the surfaces anymore you're like trying to see through everything and like it's even interesting like when I post like when you post on Instagram to promote yourself right I found cropping so like interesting like cropping away most of the work actually mm. because it was like Instagram isn't the same as seeing a work in real life anyway so mm -hmm. why try and make it like that like um you have to make use of the different ways of seeing in order to like really encapsulate everything about a subject or mm. an experience and like when you work that's just experiencing um something with a different language mm. completely 